Hey, hi, it's Lou Pompilio again on My Singing Kitchen, also known as La, La Cucina. What is it? La Cucina. La Cucina. Cucina. Yeah. It's one of those things. <laughs> anyway, we put some olive oil in the pan. Ah. So we can get everything nice and straight. Cola vita. How much do you think? Oh, of? probably about a third of a cup. Third of a cup in there? Yeah, it's about, about a third. Nice. And we'll go ahead. Then we'll put the heat on. And then we have to crush the garlic. The best way to crush it with a knife. Mm -hmm. That's very knife. Very knife. You can. <laughs> and I crush the other piece of garlic too. Nice. Okay, this goes in the And cut this one too. And we cut a little more. And we'll take this and put it right in the olive oil until it gets turns brown, like everything else. Cut the onion. Cut the onion next. And we put the stuff in its back. Cut. And recyclable. Recyclable. Everything recyclable. Makes it nice and easy. I'm really glad that Pennsylvania has recyclable stuff that we can do this. Oh yeah. And we cut this in half just like we did last time. Cut it in half again. One more time. Then we cut it up. And get this one here too. Good. Very good. Okay. That's pretty good. Now, we have to take it to cuddle fish. Yeah? The cuddle fish. I'm going to take it to fish out there. Here you please it now. Make oh. it for a good little cuddle fish. And here we go. Uh, what do I do with my scissors? Ah, there they go. Ah, and the scissors have become very handy in the last few episodes. We've done yeah, today. yeah. And they should sell this down around by you too. I hope Aaron, so. You know, I, think like, this, I want to make this. Yeah, I think it would be really nice. I've had uh, squid ink sauce uh, twice in my life, once in Mexico, and the other, uh, the restaurant you took me to. Francesco's. Francesco's. But this is going to be a little different the way you're making it. Yeah, we don't need any oregano to it. Yes. It just doesn't do it for me, so. And what do we have over here? We have your homemade tomato paste. Actually. That's homemade tomato paste, which is just tomatoes reduced. Nothing else added. So that's what makes it different than the regular yeah. one that you would buy. So now we'll cut this, now we'll cut this up. So you're cutting the cuttlefish. He's cutting the cuttlefish. Sounds like a play on words. Cutting the cuttlefish. Doing that, we're just going to go over to the pot. Oh, yeah, it's brown. Yeah, everything's getting nice and brown over here. Zoom. It's on its way. When we come back, oh, it's well, this is all cut, and now we go over here, and this is browning, right? The yellow garlic browns. Yeah, we're going to add some onion to it. Oh, yeah, we'll add some onion to it. 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 Yeah, we'll add some onion to and again, a wonderful, wonderful smell right now. Just, yeah. Just terrific. I think you've all looked really nice together. Now, you yeah. let this cook up uh, together for a few minutes? Yeah, just a little bit.
All right, now he's getting the water ready um, for the pasta. Yep. Okay, so we're going to get a little of each to this, which is nice. Browns up. We can add a bit more to this one. There'll be one more. Uh, good. Cut it up. And then we'll let this cook for a while and then we'll cut it up. Oh, sure. That cooks up pretty nicely now we'll have the cut fish too. Oh, good. Okay. That's okay. Oh, that's good. Now come the cuttlefish. So how many things are you going to do? Uh, one. Two, make it a three. So three. What is that? Bucatini? Yeah. Bucatini? So. Now, how much of that are you putting? Oh, look at that. Look how that just turns black so quickly. And that's just two. That's all you need. So what is that you're washing? A parsley. 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 This meat parsley makes everything. And this has been in all three of our recipes, actually, yeah. that we shot. Mm -hmm. Cut some of that up. So this is actually the, the, the first time on the show that we've actually come back and done a recipe we've done, but this is different. And yeah, this and this is better. Yeah, well, I think it's better. But then again, it's my cooking. That's why I think it's better. Exactly. It may exactly. not be, but it is. This one melts really nicely. A little bit of hot pepper flakes he put in. Mm -hmm. Some salt. Not too much salt because this squid's got the cuttlefish has got salt in it. Some black pepper because it makes it nice. We mix them up a bit. Oh, the pasta is getting close to ready. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Best way is to always taste it. Great. You never waste the water. Try not to. Let me know if it's out of hot, right? Oh, no problem. Right now you're probably thinking. Okay, put it back. On. Look at that. Perfect. Put it right on there and right in the strainer. Right into the big dish. Wow. And there we go, fresh parsley again right on top. Wow. Shall we? Yes.
it's impossible Tell the sun to leave the sky It's just impossible It's impossible Ask a baby not to cry It's just impossible Can I hold you Closer to me Can I feel you Going through me Split the second That I never think of you Oh how impossible Keep from rushing to the shore It's just impossible If I had you Could I ever ask for more It's just impossible And tomorrow Should you ask me for the world Somehow I'd get it I would sell my very soul and not regret it For to live without your love is just impossible Impossible